and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to something very different here on the channel. First of all, welcome to Peterville. If you guys know, we've been waiting for this map for a long time ever since our first look. I love this map. Uh, this is by MJ Modding. Links and stuff will be in the description box down below. But um, one thing we've not done since FS15 is had an actual challenge here on Farm Sim. So what we've done is we've usually just got some equipment. We've been doing some farming, blah, 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 you know, doing the usual cycle. But I thought we'd do something a bit different. I thought we'd actually set ourselves a challenge. Now, we haven't done this since Ravenport. But we've gone and start from scratch. Now, of course, these maps work differently now as they do on Ravenport. We already have a farmhouse and stuff. But we have zero land. So what we're going to do is we are going to be a new farmer in the area. In fact, let's jump into the game. Let's go ahead and jump into the game real quick. Here you go, we are in uh, what looks like a different yard. Do you want the course plane to scan? Uh, we'll just do that, and we'll do that. So as you can see at the bottom, you only have enough money to start a small farm first, buy some land buildings and necessary tools, and then sell your products and expand your farm. So we are actually starting here in this little yard. Here's our little uh, motorhome, by the way. Nice orange caravan we've got here. So I'll show you where we are, in case you guys don't know. We'll go through this door here. Um, in fact, I've got to turn the volume on. Oh, okay, that's where we've got volume now. So we're right here across from these houses in this little yard. So, let's go ahead and close this. We'll head to the main menu, first of all. We'll go ahead and buy this tiny bit of land here. So this is going to cost us 17,000, 328,000, uh, 328 pounds. Let's go ahead and buy that. So this is all we own right now. So we own nothing else on the map. Um, so this is now our little yard here. So we're, the, the goal is to try and get enough money so that we can become a rival in the area. So at the moment we have the big yard down there as you guys probably already know about if you've ever been playing on this map which calls Peterville. Um, so we're going to be doing work for them so we'll be doing work for them to get money up but we'll also be starting our own farm. So let's go back actually into our yard right here. For those you don't know this door does open uh, which is pretty cool. We'll go into here. So this is basically all of ours. We own a little tiny shed there. There's our house. Um, little well, that's the entrance where you can't really put anything in there. And that's pretty much it. We don't own any fields right yet. So let's go ahead and see what fields we can get. Can't buy that one because it belongs to that yard there. Um, this one here is going to cost us 300000 See what I mean? It's going to be very, very hard. So it looks like... Well, how much have we got at the moment? We've got £482,000. Um, we already have a tractor lined up. We're going to go ahead and get that in a second. Bear with us. Uh, but we need to buy some land just before we head out and get that. I'm thinking field 28. How much? 104, 113... Okay, so we've decided that we're going to go with field, we're going to start off with field 28 at least, so we're attached to the, the rival yard. So this land here is out of order, uh, out of bounds. I should have probably did all of this, but instead we'll, we'll leave it. We'll go field 28 and 27, they could be ours, and then we'll try and get 26 as well at some point. These are very close together, I am aware, but I didn't make the map, um, and this is not intended. This is just a little challenge that we've made up here. So let's go ahead and buy field number 8. How much does that leave us with? £377,000. I'll tell you what. We'll buy that one as well. So now we are left with just £264,000. Like I said, we have to go and buy ourselves a tractor now. So let's head into our car. You might like our car. Like I said, we're on a massive budget. Now, first of all, before we get going, if you're someone who's really into brands and doesn't like it when a YouTuber doesn't use your favorite brand, for example, John Deere or Class, this is probably not going to be the series for you because we're going to be doing all of this on a budget. So we could be using Kubota, we could be using Ursus, whatever's cheapest. But today, we're not using any of those brands. Um, I have an idea. So where did I put my car? Okay, so we're around here. So we're going to head to pick up a truck down at the shop right now, and then we're heading to a different area to pick up our first tractor. Um, so it's very, it's probably the ugliest tractor I've ever seen in my life, if I'm being honest, but it's well in budget, um, so it should serve us well here on the farm. We're also getting ourselves a cedar today, because that's going to be quite important. So we're buying that from the same place, luckily. So let's go ahead and jump into our car. We'll get the GoPro put onto our heads, like so. We'll give it a little uh, reset there. Cool. All right, let's get it turned on. She ticks over. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get the handbrake off. And we'll head to the store. So like I said, we are starting on a major budget. So this is the car that we, uh, just, well, the only car that we can get. Cars aren't really important, so as long as it can get us over, oh, hang on. So as long as it can get us around, that's absolutely fine. Oops, <clears throat> nearly crushed. Yeah. To you too. Right, so like I was saying, um. As long as it gets this around, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and take this all the way down to the store. We're picking up a rented truck. We actually have a friend. Uh, let's see if we can overtake this guy here. There we go. Um, so we actually have a friend um, that's going to be helping us. They lend us his truck. Altogether, it probably costs us about £3,000 to rent this truck. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pick that up real quick. Oh, God, it doesn't sound too healthy, this car. We are going to be doing this car up, by the way. That's a little, little, little side mission here on this uh, series. 
we will be kitting it up at some point and making it nice and fresh and then probably selling it for a bit of a profit. Oh, where's the store? Alright, so here we are at the, uh, the dealership. This is where he's meant to be meeting us with his stuff. Uh, here it is. So he's given us this old Volvo and also a flatbed truck ready to pick it up. Like I said, we're picking up a tractor. Let's get the handbrake on. We'll turn the engine off. We're picking up a tractor and a seed drill today, so hopefully that'll be enough. And then we will be doing some contracting for other farmers after that. I'll right, just jump in. Once again, this is a private truck. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. What? 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 Get into the truck. There we go. Oh, wow. I need to reset the camera on this for sure. All right, there we go. It's got a weird, weird camera in here. Right. Let's get the handbrake off. But why is our diff locks and stuff on? We do not need them. This is a horrible, horrible camera. I might have to adjust this in a second. Yeah, I will. Because this is annoying me. Right. Let's see if we can back up into here. Ca that mirror there is pretty much useless. In fact, we'll do it in third person so you guys can see. Hopefully it's not too loud for you. Right, let's back this up. That was an awful simulator. I'm not even going to press X because I want this to be a little bit better than that. Yeah, that's better. Kind of. That shit was still awful. Never mind. Right, let's go ahead and fix this camera. There you go, not much better, but a little bit better. So we're gonna head down to our new location now. Why is it like rotating like that? I don't like that at all. I think this is the default original camera. But anyway, as you see, we've got our uh, flatbed here, our silver flatbed. I've only ever seen this thing in orange before, so it's pretty cool. We've got our white old Volvo truck. We've got some power this, so it should get us there pretty quickly. So we're gonna head out and pick it up, and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there. That's the wrong button simulate. We're currently sweet and now heading towards uh, where we're buying the tractor. Now, like I said, if you're into brands, you're not going to like this series whatsoever because we're doing whatever's cheapest for us. So I found, I think it's a good deal. Well, I've not seen the tractor in person yet, but we'll soon find out. So we're meeting uh, some nice farmers in a second. By the way, if I just put the camera outside the truck a minute, listen to the noise this beast makes. Ready? Nice little purr to her. I think it sounds amazing, personally. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure where the turning is that we're looking for. This is a new area to me. I've not been around here before. Um, is it down there? Could be down there. I have no idea. We might be lost. I'm going to be honest with you. We might be lost. Oh, so GPS is saying it's the next left, so we'll check that out in a sec. Ooh, this truck is going so slow. This truck's like this Jeep, whatever it is. 4x4, four four, SUV, that's the one. Come on. 60 mile an hour speed limit along here. The one thing about this truck is the steering wheel is on the wrong side, so it kind of makes uh, driving past other people a little bit nauseating. Right, let's go ahead and indicate into here. So here's the farm, I assume. If not, we're going into some stranger's farm. Come on, nice and wide there. Oh, this is going to be a cozy little bridge pass. No, please, car. No, 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 no. Car, please. We're going first. Thank you. God, that was way too narrow to be arguing with traffic. Right, so they said go into the yard, go right, and then follow the dirt path, and you'll see the house. Like a treasure hunt. Okay, let's go around here. Let's get some implements, huh? What have we got here? Cultivator and a plow. It's pretty big equipment. Pretty big farm, then. Ah! There she is! There she is. Now, this is the hard part because I'm going to have to reverse in. I might not have to reverse in, actually. I could just leave it out here. It's not like we're on a road or anything. Um, yeah. What have they got there? Is that a fence? No, oh, they've got a fence here. So, yeah, pretty big farm. Very clean. Very clean farm. Right. Let's go ahead and activate the rear ramp. It's just hydraulically driven, so it should be good to go. Yep. I think she's down, although we're not very level, unfortunately. 
And that should do her. Indicator's still on. Never mind. Get that turned off. Right. Let's go speak to uh, Alex, I think his name was. Actually, yeah, the ramp. The ramp's fine. The ramp's fine. So I'll leave it out here. Hopefully he doesn't need to get past. But here is our... Oh, and I'll see Drew. They're both together. That's very nice. So here is our tractor. I'll go ahead and speak to them in a second. Um, but here we go. We've got ourselves the ugliest tractor I've ever seen in my life. It is a Renault uh, Atlas 396RZ. Um, it's in our budget. It's going to cost a little bit too much. What's it? It's got Michelins on. It looks like got Michelin tires on. Yeah, very different. Something very different. Um, like I said, it's the ugliest tractor I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and also our drill we're getting is the Lemkin Sapphire 8. But yeah, let's go ahead and speak to Alex. We'll do the monies, and then uh, we'll get it loaded up. Okay, so £56,000 we paid for this, and the drill. Seems a bit of a lot, but it is in good condition, as you can see. There's not too much damage to it. Um, they did give it a clean for us. In fact, you can see the jet washer there still, where they've, uh, where they've done so. Yeah, it's very nice. It's been recently sprayed. Of course it's been sprayed, because it's all nice and clean back here. Not so much the drill. The drill's not been sprayed. You can see it's all worn and stuff like that. Um, right. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with, shall we? So we've got the keys. Let's jump into the old tractor. Oh, we'll have a look inside. Right, so she's got 381 hours on her, which isn't too bad. It could have been tampered with, though. Uh, here's the interior. It's a bit plasticky in here, but of course it is a French tractor. Not saying uh, the French don't know how to design tractors, but their cars are pretty plasticky as well, aren't they? So the tractors, I just expect nothing different. But like I said, it is in budget. We've got 56 thousand pounds for both of this and the drill so we're off to a bit of a start here let's go ahead and get it turned on right handbrake works fine in fact what we are going to do is turn all of our lights on you can see them actually on the dashboard so the dashboard lights work perfectly so we've got all of our work lights on believe it or not those aren't actually the headlights these are the work lights too these are the main uh, road lights here Got our indicators working there. There are some beacons on top, which I forgot to turn on. Got our work lights in the back there. Pointing at the three point, which is pretty cool. Pretty different. Uh, we've also got the number plate. There's no number plate there, but the number plate lights are working. We've got our indicators working at the back here. Our rear lights working. And, of course, our cabin lights on the back. Or our working lights on the cabin back there. Cool. All right, let's jump in. We'll make sure that the uh, beacon light is working, in fact. Which it is. Awesome stuff. Right. Go ahead and turn those lights off. And we do have a beacon light indicator on the dashboard as well. Look, see the orange one lighting on and off? Cool. Right, so first things first, let's get our drill hooked up. They are coming back together, of course, which is why we have a long trailer. Could have got a shorter one. But as soon as we're bringing the drill back as well. Right, let's go ahead and get her into reverse real quick. Right, about there, I reckon. Handbrake on. Cool. We don't need the free point. Uh, sorry, we don't need the uh, the PTO one because we're not actually drilling today. We're literally just taking it back with us. Let's go ahead. Oh, wrong one. Let's go ahead and get it lifted up. I just turned on the PTO for the tractor then. Good job. There was nothing connected. Cool. So the Sapphire Eight is loaded up. Let's go ahead and give him a wave as we take it away. Really excited to get a new tractor. So once again, our goal is to become the main farmer in that area at some point. But we need a lot of money. £204,000 is not a lot, especially when we have to build our own yard and stuff as well. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Can't see what I'm doing here. I think we're doing. What we're going to do is put the front wheels up on the little metal ramp here. Just so we got more weight over the, the fifth wheel. That weight distribution, yo. Right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and put the handbrake on. Can we lower this down without it digging in? That's the wrong one. No, I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to leave it up. Right. Let's get our beaker lights off. Turn the tractor off. And we're good to go. So like I said, I would usually put that down, but um, it's not letting us. Because then the, front, the uh, rear wheel of the tractor would be floating, which is a little bit annoying. But we're in. That's the important thing. We've got most of the weight, as much weight as we can on the fifth wheel, so we should have some pretty good stability on the motorway. Right, let's go ahead and reset the uh, GoPro again. We're going to get some hydraulic pressure going back there. We good? Looks like we're good to go here. Don't forget to turn the beacon lights on. I I'm going to do that before we leave. Double check. So we should have a beacon light at the back now. 
Yeah, I can see it. Cool. So let's take this back to our yard. I don't know where we're going to be unloading this thing, if I'm being honest, because we do not have the yard space to do so. We haven't got a nice big yard like this one here. Um, but yeah, let's get it taken back, shall we? Brand... Well, not brand new, but it's new to us. New Renault. Look at this yard. It's so clean. So as you can see, we have just pulled in to the yard right now. We're just going to go ahead and hug this uh, hedge a little bit here. Right, let's get that taken off. Turn the beacon lights off now. Get the hydraulic pressure sent towards the back. Cool. And we're now ready to unload. So the first bit of equipment we own is this uh, beautiful whisk. Oh, it's growing on me. It's still ugly as heck, but in a cute way. Um, let's ju jump up into the cab real quick. Let's get it turned on. Get it into reverse. Now, hopefully, we don't clip. In fact, I'll do it in third person so you guys can see. Get a camera set up outside. There we go. Oh, nearly touched the floor, but we're good. All right, let's take her in. So, I have no idea where this is going to live. A shed is something we have to build in the future. We do have one shed. I can go ahead and store it in there, actually. Um, but we will be using this for other things at another point. All right. So let's go ahead and get this open first of all. Like so. I don't actually know what's in here. Some junk. Just some junk. So this is going to be where we store this for now until we get some more sheds built. In fact, let's go ahead and drive her in backwards, shall we? We need to take the uh, drill off anyway. Okay, right. Let's back up. Go ahead and put it in the corner for a second. Stop. I think we went a little bit too far back. About there, I reckon. Let's get it lowered down. And disconnected. It's cool. So we have a drill. Which, there we go. Our bank has been updated. This is the new budget for the farm. So we started off with 500,000. And we bought some land. We bought two fields. And also, we now have a drill and a tractor. Now, you couple of things you may be wondering is how we're going to fill up the drill. Uh, uh, that's going to be so we have to rent a loader or um, buy a loader. I don't know just yet. Let's go ahead and get the handbrake on this. We're not going to be using it today because there's nothing to do. We don't have any uh, bags or anything. That's something that we'll do in an upcoming video. Let's go ahead and get this lower down for now. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go back in. In fact, we can uh, I'll take a truck back. Haven't we? We'll take a truck back. And we'll see what jobs need doing. Like I said, we're going to be doing some contracting around here. See if any of the local farmers need some uh, some assistance or anything. We are fully trained agricultural farmers. So we shouldn't hopefully have an issue getting a job. It's just we won't tell them about our plans to take over the area. We'll, we'll save that to a different day. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I've got to take this truck back to our friend down at the store. Let's go ahead and get it turned on. Get the rear ramp lifted up a second. Cool. Well, that's going to be the easiest way to do this. How are we going to get out of here? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you very, very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, please slap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Bit of a short one today. We are just setting up the farm. Uh, we are actually going to be doing some uh, landscaping at some point. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be very, very dangerous reversing out into here. I cannot see a thing. That car had no intention of stopping. But anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you did enjoy, please slap a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.